Hello everybody, welcome to Jam Punch, my name's George and this is Up To Speed. The movie that we'll be getting you up to speed on today is... The Born Identity. In the Mediterranean Sea, Italian fishermen rescue an unconscious American, floating adrift with two gunshot wounds in his back. They tend to his wounds, and when the man awakes, they find he suffers from disassociative amnesia. He has no memory of his own identity, while he retains speech and finds himself capable of advanced combat skills and fluency in several languages. The skipper finds a tiny laser projector under the man's hip that, when activated, gives the number of a safe deposit box in Zurich. Upon landing, the man heads to investigate the box, at arriving at the bank, the man finds that the box contains a large sum of money in various currencies, numerous passports and identity cards with his picture on all of them, and a handgun. The man takes everything but the gun and leaves, opting to use the name of the American passport, Jason Bourne. A bank employee contacts Operation Treadstone, a CIA black operation program after Bourne's departure. Treadstone's head, Alexander Conklin, contacts CIA Deputy Director Ward Abbott about the reappearance of Bourne. Abbott warns that Bourne, a CIA agent, had been assigned the silent assassination of exiled African dictator Nikwana Wombosi, but the attempt failed and Bourne must be dealt with. Conklin activates three agents to take down Bourne, Castle, Mannheim and the Professor, while also issuing alerts to local police to capture Bourne. Bourne attempts to get more information from the US consulate, but he is discovered by guards. He evades capture, leaves the embassy, and gives a German woman, Marie Helena Krutz, $20,000 to drive him to an address in Paris listed on his French driving license. At the address and apartment, he hits redial on the phone and reaches a hotel. He inquires about the names on the passports there, learning that a John Michael Kane had been registered but died two weeks prior in a car accident. Castle ambushes them in the apartment, but Bourne gets the upper hand. Instead of allowing himself to be interrogated, Castle throws himself out a window to his death. Kurtz finds wanted posters of Bourne and herself and agrees to continue to help Bourne. Meanwhile, Wombosi approaches the police about the attempt on his life. Conklin, having anticipated this, had planted a body in the Paris morgue to appear as the assailant, but Wombosi is not fooled and threatens to report this. The professor then assassinates Wombosi on Conklin's orders. Bourne, posing as Kane, learns about Wombosi's yacht and that the other assailant had been shot twice during the escape. Bourne now considers himself to have been the assailant. He and Kreutz take refuge at the French countryside home of her ex-lover Eamon and his children. Conklin tracks their position and sends the professor there, but Bourne shoots him twice with Eamon's shotgun, mortally wounding him. The professor reveals their shared connection to Treadstone before dying. He sends Krutz, Eamon, and his children away for their protection, and then contacts Conklin via the professor's phone to arrange a meeting. From a rooftop near the arranged location in Paris, Bourne sees Conklin has brought backup, so abandons the meeting, but uses the opportunity to place a tracking device on his car, leading him to Treadstone's safe house. Bourne breaks in and holds Conklin and logistics technician Nicolette Nicky Parsons at gunpoint. Bourne starts to recall fully the assassination attempt through successive flashbacks. As Kane, and working under orders from Treadstone, Bourne infiltrated Wombosi's yacht but could not bring himself to kill Wombosi while Wombosi's children were present, and instead fled, being shot at during his escape. Bourne announces he is resigning from Treadstone and not to be followed. As agents descend on the safe house, Bourne fights his way free. Meanwhile, when Conklin leaves the safe house, he is killed by Mannheim, who was ordered to terminate Treadstone by Abbott. Abbott reports on the dismissal of Treadstone before an oversight committee, but announces a new project codenamed Blackbriar. Sometime later, Bourne finds Krutz renting out scooters to tourists in Mykonos, and the two reunite. Thanks for watching Up to Speed on the Bourne Identity, everybody. I hope you enjoyed that as always. Please subscribe for more Jam Punch and click here to watch the next Up to Speed about the Bourne Supremacy. We release brand new videos every Tuesday, so we'll see you next week.